I gotta stay off my R1 trigger so I don't accidentally expend a Healy doodad. I gotta keep my hand off of the R2 trigger too, so I don't accidentally fucking blow this. Hello everyone, Bubble Ninja 720 here, bringing you part 23 of my playthrough for Resident Evil 7. When we last left off, we managed to make the serum that will undoubtedly destroy Evelyn. Problem is, we have to get to her first. Oh yeah, I probably should pull out a med. Alright, so... Alright. We also had a little f hallucination earlier with Jack. Not being infected. Hey, there's an item there. Um, well, uninfected Jack begging me to uh, save his family. What kind of bullets were those? Oh, enhanced handgun ammo. Nice. So I can't do anything with this door. That might be the entrance to the lab. Perfectly dark in here. Not to be confused with perfect dark. see a remote line. Chem fluid. I'll gladly take you and incorporate you into my own. You better not spawn anything back that way. on second thought. I'm gonna go put it away. I don't have very much space. I gotta keep that friggin' serum. My bullets 39. I could have just done that. Good way to hide shit. <sighs> I gotta re-angle myself so I can see. I hear singing. I don't like. I don't like. Fucking mag ammo. Could you just give me shotgun ammo, really? Okay. Keep keep the lovely sing humming up. Well, hum singing. I'll be back. I just gotta go put some useless bullets away, considering I can't do anything with them. Be kind of cool if I could pull them apart. Oh, 
but no, it ain't gonna happen. Hmm. I'm probably getting close to the end of the game too. I do apologize if I end up having to pinch this one and it ends up being a really short part at the end. Oh, I gotta crawl too, and that does not look fucking sturdy. Oh shit, she stopped singing. Um, yeah, if I, I do apologize this end up being short. Like, oh. Die. Die. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Um, what do I do? Oh shit. Nice little flip. I missed. Didn't miss that time. Thanks for showing me that dome. Oh, he didn't die? Okay, he did. What other goodies did you leave behind back here? Ew. A lot of seepage. Okay, so you didn't collapse that. I gotta stay off my R1 trigger so I don't accidentally spin. Expend a Healy Doodad. Oh! I gotta keep my hand off of the R2 trigger too so I don't actually fucking blow this. Whoa. <laughs> God, I don't like this. Okay, I see one there. Oh shit! God damn it. Give me caution. A lot of places that this shit can come from. couple of shots that I wasted. Hello. Gorgeous. Getting too complacent with the shotgun. Way is a dead end, so there might be a goodie or two. Oh, remote mine, yay. I don't like the amount of black goop that's here. So I guess I'm supposed to continue going up. I don't trust you. Probably should have trusted you. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, machine gun ammo. Well, I'm glad it's not making me run through endless enemies. Wink, wink, Capcom. Please don't do that. I will be very upset. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh! Ah, 
Ah, that's what I heard. There's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, you missed because you jerked fucking backwards, you twit. <sighs> I'm climbing higher and higher. I don't like it. And I'm slowly going through all my ammo. I think I'm going to swap. Oh, well, this is not going to be good. Okay, so instead of going that way, I get to go this way. Is there anything here? Huh? Why did you turn your light off? You can still use your light. Definitely could still use your fucking light, Ethan. This looks boss. F oh, I'm outside. I was about to say, this looks boss fighty. I was right. Oh my god, there's an even bigger one. Ah, fuck! Fuck my ass. I can't move. I'm looking at fucking molded crotch. I'm out of healing, dude. I'm gonna die. A while since I died. <sighs> okay, so lovely. This thing comes charging at you. Aim for the legs to trip it up. Attacks will make them vomit up acid. If you're too close, you will be in for deadly acid shower. You try to put something between you and their ugly faces. Catch remote bombs. Enemies while grappling with them. New rounds. Can I go back? I gotta go get my grenade launcher. I definitely need it for those, those fat fucks. to walk really fucking slowly through this sludge. Well, water. Am I on caution still? Yep. So the shotgun didn't work out too well. Where's my neuro around? Oh, 
Oh, bullshit. Hmm. I'll take those with. All right, let's play with these. So I don't accidentally squeeze off another round. Probably should get another med heal too, just in case. I am just so out of it right now. Jesus Christ. So they gave me a regular fat guy and then they gave me a double tubbo. use the corrosive on to um on the boat or if saving that corrosive helps me out over here somewhere which I doubt probably could use the corrosive on the door after I um after I pulled the fuse out so I didn't have to go the long way around I really like the amp amp up the anxiety with the the was it the slasher music? Nothing in the barrel. Go up, Ethan. Good thing I don't have to fight through these enemies again. My hand off the R1 and R2 buttons. Don't want to be squeezing rounds off or wasting heal. Although, you know, I could technically heal right now. I gotta remember not to, um, not to box myself into a kana. So, just walking in circles. I think there, it's one big circle. Yeah, it's one big area. Come on, Tubbos. You can do it. Oh, fuck you guys. That I shouldn't have. Oh, fuck. Come on. Can't see him. So that's acid. Wants to play. Keep coming this way, baby. Keep coming this way. Come on. Are you blind? Maybe not. Oh, why did I do that? Fucking reload is the same as explosive. Come on, you can slowly make it. Oh, what the fuck? Are you dead yet? No. Fucking acid.
How'd that work? I have one more remote line. Right in your face. How about that spicy meatball, bitch? God damn. It took all my remote lines. And I I used all my Healy Dude ads too. Oh, got one back. Got a strong bed. Apparently, my battery is low on my phone. Ooh, another first aid bed. Shotgun shells. Yay. Oh, I could have climbed up these and jumped off. Oh, well. Let's see if there's any goodies on them. Nope. I just decided to play the most dangerous version of Ring Around the Rosie. There might be something up here. Pretty low on ammo. <sighs> Who's the bet that they're not going to give me a save anytime soon? So I'm gonna, I can't go back. Fuck. <sighs> Forward we go, me mates. I'm out of the mines. So, hmm. see how this goes. I got one small heal and well, one medium heal and one big heal. Should be getting closer to the um, the uh, lab. squish through some rocks. Probably going to have a jump scare at the end. No goodies. I just fought a boss fight. Throw me a bone. So I don't trust it. This looks like machine gun ammo. Yep, for the machine gun that I put away. The mine map. Oh. Okay, good, that one didn't explode. I'm not liking the fact that it gave me a save spot without a tr without a trunk. This sucks. Oh, and there's a door, too. Abandoned mine. Did I miss any areas? Oh, there was that area, but I don't think I could have went that way. Storage face, cultivation room, office. Oh, I went through there already. Okay. Hey, looks like I did. Did good. Let's continue. I don't like this. Hey! Doesn't that look familiar? I hear an everyman. Wait, am I back in the house? Oh my god, I'm back in the house. I hear you. Where the fuck are you at? Is 
There you are. I'm sure of it. Oh. It's not here. It's oh. gone. It's gone. This is a flashback. The door's open now. I'm in the guest house again. Talk about fucking spinneroonies. E001. So, there's the clue. Grandma is Evelyn. At least I don't have to worry about Jack anymore, right? Calcified his ass. Marguerite's done too. Mia could be around here though. Can I shut this door? Good, I can't. You gonna ring? I got some. Hear a door. Look like he had like some zits or pimples on his um on his hand. Oh, I could walk through this. Hey, Evelyn. If you want me to be your dad, maybe I could be your dad. Fault. Why am I seeing this? Why is it my fault? What'd I do? I didn't do anything wrong. You mean to tell me all of these books and drawers I can't open a damn thing? Anything in the bathroom? Oh, I wonder if I'd have left the, the Healy doodads. So where's the lab at? That's my aunt question. If I had if I had left those Healy doodads also, I wonder if I could have picked them up later. Missing a fuse. So I can't go back through the attic. Oh. She pulled a bed and she stuck that there, so I can't go pull the uh, drawstring anymore. Interesting. Can I play the piano this time? Nope. Can't play you a little catchy tune. Alright, uh, Evie. What you want? Ethan, oh. It's okay. Fuck. It's okay. You back again? But you shouldn't have done that. Um, this the same thing. Oh shit! What the fuck was that? Want to be my daddy? Then he can die. Um. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. Uh oh. Kill Evelyn with the E necrotoxin. So the, I left Ev, uh, not Evelyn, but I left uh, Mia back at the house or at the boat. So is she here? Oh fuck, nuggets! I was about to just say I had a uh, I had a lock pick. Oh, I can't open it anyways. Ah, that's smart. Good on you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Good on you, uh, Capcom. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to go that way. I want to go upstairs first.
Any goodies here? Oh, not even a save spot? Poo. Ah, I'm gonna go to Evelyn. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! Oh, shit. I don't want your help! Oh, it's creepy. Still a caution. All right. I think I might be at the end of the game, so I might just continue this on. So I can't do anything with that. I can't just open anything. That's crazy how there's a giant dolly here. I guess I do go back upstairs. So, does this mean that Ethan's infected? Oh! Okay, I'm probably just wasting shots. Hey, it's Evie. Let's go this way. Come on, Evie. You want to play? Bring it on, bitch. Oh. Get away. Oh, okay. Me okay, so I just gotta keep running at her and then guarding at the last second. No, no. Get her? Oh, is it grandma? Why does everyone hate me? Goodbye. I don't think this is goodbye. That is a, uh, oh no, this is like a William Birkin thing. Yeah, this is a William Birkin thing. Oh. She won that spicy meatball. Am I supposed to run? Did you just say love me? Ugh, ow. Oh, she's destroying the house now. Oh, yeah, I think this might be the end. Um, did I die? No, I didn't die. I look fucked up though. Can I get up? Can I still hear. Oh, fucking hell. Um. L2. L2. How? Can I shoot? God damn it. Oh, I'm dead. 
I didn't get the chance to fucking shoot. Couldn't even get up. Oh. Um. I just wanted a family. Can I? I'm dying. Ooh, what's that? What is it? Grab it. Okay. Ooh, nice black and red. It's got a long barrel. Play time for Ooh. Where, where is it? Ooh, I shot an eyeball out on that one. I can't even move. Oh, did I did I do it? Oh, she's calcifying. Ew. I I blew that eyeball out. Um, can I get up? Come on, Ethan, get up. Use a healy do that. I know you got a big one. I'm blacking out. Great. That was an interesting boss fight. I hear choppers playing it safe. Yep, this is the end of the game. The nightmare is finally over. And end of the night. Hell yeah, triple trophies. I think I'm feeling better now. I don't see the blood on my screen. It was a lot of goodies you got there, man. Who that? Chris? I'm Redfield. Yep. I'm glad we found you. The fuck took you guys so long? Huh? How does he know about them? Oh man, that house got wrecked. Ethan? Oh shit. They saved Mia. Mia. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? And don't know what happened with Zoe and Lucas. <laughs> they say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. Evelyn's door. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. Yeah. So were the Bakers. Yep. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. Pretty much. Uh, now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. Um. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. But now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Um. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Into a holding cell where you're gonna become the next human subject for Umbrella, cause that's the fucking people that just saved you. Yeah. I don't understand. Why is Chris working for Umbrella? What are these cutscenes? I hear music going. Very faint, but I hear music. Oh, I guess this is the ending credits. Okay, here we go. Time to critique the game. I generally like the game, yes. It started off where I was not liking it too much. It started getting better. Uh, my tropes where I was kind of eh, was they had too many invincible enemies. Jack, Marguerite, um, yeah, well, Jack and Marguerite, pretty much. And basically, you couldn't outrun them. 
and they spotted you friggin' easily. I mean, at one point, Mar Marguerite spotted me, and I didn't even round the corner, and she saw me and started shooting those bugs at me. But the boss fights are really good. They made me think on my toes. That some of the pretty much quite a few of the boss fights had parts where you could you could uh, not expend too much ammo and get through the boss fight, especially the early ones like with Jack, where you could use the car to run him over instead of shooting at him. Stuff like that. I, I probably wouldn't have been able... I probably... I mean, I probably wouldn't have had to squeeze off any rounds actually fighting Jack and that part if I had gotten the keys and gotten to my car. Which, by the way, that car is Ethan's car, by the way. I just didn't notice that until I was watching uh, when, like Jack or Felix or Mark play through the play through the game and I made that connection afterwards um yeah I, I just didn't like the fact that Jack could and, and Marguerite could run you down it just felt like I was running through like waist deep water whenever I was sprinting I guess that's supposed to be a mechanics for the VR per, per, portion of the game or whatnot or is this how they had it set up the first person mode was freaking amazing it added to the, um, it added to the, uh, the anxiety factor. The music at parts was making my anxiety rank up. The weapons are pretty damn good. Not gonna lie. The enemy AI was phenomenal in terms of the molded. I love the molded fights. Like, just the regular enemies are pretty cool them being able to sneak up on me and and you know the the, the liquor like ones the, I guess the I call them those the crawlers where they would hop around and everything and swipe at you and then you, they would defend their heads too when you try when you shoot their head too many times that was kind of cool the um now of course I played Resident Evil 2 and 3 before I played this one or the remakes I should say and I will say that I like the molded enemies way better than I like the zombies. Yeah, sure, the zombies are pretty cool. But the molded feel more realistic in that I had to cap them in the head a lot less to put them down. Whereas I could waste, like, almost a full 15-shot clip on one zombie and it'd still get back up. If, it, if I didn't get that lucky headshot kind of thing. I mean, the lucky headshot crit, pretty much. Or use a shotgun blast on it. Um, interesting how they had a bunch of different guns. Like, you got, what, three handguns. I didn't even use the, so, the machine gun too much. Probably should have used it more. Um, the grenade launcher felt really powerful. It's part of the reason why they never got the... Uh, they never gave you too much ammo. The burner was pretty cool, but it seemed like the moment I got done... Well, yeah, no pun intended. Um... It seemed like that its usefulness after the Marguerite scenario was greatly diminished, so I kind of wasted my um, kind of wasted my solid fuel that I could have been using for f flame rounds at, for flame fuel. Uh, the various handguns are pretty good. Um, that one gun at the very end, that that that's that long barrel one that I was just murking. Uh, Evelyn with that was a really good one of course because it's 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 the rocket launcher from at the very end against like the tyrant kind of setup another trope that annoyed me is the whole starting over kind of thing where like Ethan started he had no weapons it sucked until I got the shotgun and once I got the shotgun I had like some variation like some variety to play with that I was able to ease in a little bit better i got the burner and i was like okay i got three avenues of weaponry i don't just have a knife and a handgun and stuff that like that i actually have some ammo that i can uh fall back on i can breathe a little bit and then ethan swapped over to mia and then mia had nothing and then i had right back up to like that max level anxiety where i couldn't fight the enemies i had to slink by them and run run away until I could get the handgun and the knife and then what was it the remote mines and the uh, machine gun that was, that was a little bit annoying but playing as another character is kind of cool and they kind of 
It kind of gave you a, we're sorry for doing that to you by letting you have all Mia stuff once you got back to Ethan. It was kind of weird that uh, Mia got infected again. It just, that kind of gave me a, um, it gave me a like, why did I even bother kind of feeling, you know? I mean, like I went through all that to save Mia and then I had to get the serum so that I can cure Mia. And then once I cured her, and then I lost Ethan, and then voila, she got infected again once I got, once she freed Ethan. Um, there were a couple trophies I missed. I'm probably gonna go and off, off side camera and go and grab those. There are um, bonus like DLC content scenarios. I'm gonna look into those. They have Capcom has a little bit of a uh, an annoying trope with the Resident Evil games where the DLC content is like time trial crap. I'm not a fan of it. A lot of people like it. I'm one of the people that don't. Sorry for calling it crap, Capcom, but to me it is because it's just kind of like empty content for me because I'm not something I'm gonna touch. But if it's actual like storyline lore, kind of like this then I will look into it. I'll record it. You'll get to see that add on, added on after this. Uh, is there anything else that I left out? The, the scenery was phenomenal. I love the scenery, too. Oh, my God. That was pretty crazy. Like, just they had different nuances from the way the house looked and everything. Although it is kind of weird how all that, um, all that stuff was added onto the house like all the shadow doors and that giant underground basement where it had like a crematorium and stuff was kind of weird and um oh yeah the other the other um shit i'm just all over the place <laughs> the chainsaw fight chainsaw fight with uh with jack was another one because you could just pretty much had to just fire a couple rounds into him until he pulled back the grate and then you got the chainsaw and you pretty much just chainsaw him to the to the end of the fight that was kind of cool too <sighs> i'm trying to think is there anything else that i missed in the thoughts oh i missed out on the magnum i was one coin short i just needed one more pelican coin i could have gotten the damn the uh the damn uh what should we call it the uh the magnum Ah, that would have been fun to play with i had like 11 or 12 rounds that i couldn't even use And I still had two steroids that I could that I was sitting on too for Healy doodads that I never did. So could have extended my life even more. Uh, there's a lot of references to their previous titles. Well, previous as in like not the remakes. But like the old Resident Evil 2, like the fate Evelyn, like her face coming out of the wall and then and like the mold growing onto the uh, the walls, the floor, and the ceiling. That was like the last G Birkin fight. Like, was it G4 or G5? And uh, the train at the very end of Resident Evil 2. Those bugs that popped out of the window at me was reminiscent of Resident Evil 1 with the dog, with the Cerberus um, jumping through the window in the hallway of the Spencer Mansion. They made reference to Trevor. So I'm, I'm assuming that's George Trevor, who was the architect for the Spencer Mansion, going back again to Resident Evil 1. So, which is weird because he was supposed to have been killed after the Spencer estate was made back in the 90s. So I don't know how that worked. Unless it was like a family member or something that had the Trevor name. I don't know. <clears throat> Would have been kind of cool to see Lisa Trevor. The... Um, Jack and Marguerite were pretty much like Lisa Trevor in a way. Or tyrants. They were tyrants, pretty much. Um, never got to see what happened with Lucas and Zoe. So, I don't know how that happened. Lucas kind of just ran off, and then Zoe, she just... We left her at the pier. I, I slightly felt bad about that. But at the same time, my ultimate decision, of course, was going to be Mia because that's who I came for to begin with. And Zoe was pseudo helpful. And my uh, my explanation of that is she didn't give me all the details. She could have informed me about a lot of stuff like Marguerite and jazz like that. 
but she chose not to and let and then she had a little bit of a laugh in her voice when she was like sorry yeah talking a lot gotta take a little swig but after playing through it it's not bad personally i liked resident evil 3 remake better and i do have a playthrough for that you can see that i also did resident evil 2's remake um i will be playing resident evil village when it comes out it's probably that's the reason why i was pushing this out um I heard that the Resident Evil 4 is going to get a remake. I think that's the next title they're working on. So see that. Be, look forward to seeing that. Um, I will not be playing Zero One Two, or uh, Zero One or um, Code Veronica until they reset. Oh. Uh, until they remake them, I should say. I don't like tank controls. I don't like fixed camera angles. It ruins the immersion for me, and I just don't want to play it. So I will not be touching those until after that. Hey, here we go. Stats. Uh, normal difficulty, 12 and a half hours of playtime, 16 restarts. I got almost all the Mr. Everywheres. I missed four. I missed two antique coins. Got all the files. I opened 143 boxes. I used 34 healing items, two stabilizers, and two steroids. What rank are you going to give me? Ooh, difficulty Madhouse unlocked in the Albert O1R will be added to the item box in the main game. Mm. Secrets of Defense will be added to the item box in the main game. Interestante. That's going to help me. With my next playthroughs. Of course, those playthroughs would be by myself. I won't be recording those. Those are just going to be, like I said, trophy wipe up. But apart from that, this has gone way too long. <sighs> Finally, this one is done. Thank you all for watching. This has been part 23 of my playthrough for Resident Evil 7. If you'd like to go ahead and give me a thumbs up by hitting that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. Keep up with the content. Comment down below. Tell me what you think about the game and my gameplay. Well, can't really spoil this part of the storyline anymore, but don't spoil the DLC for me. And anyways, I'll catch you in the next video. See you then. Later. <laughs>